In this video, we'll look at how to use the Auto Wave tool. The Auto Wave tool will fill in Elliott Wave counts automatically based on a selected area of a chart. You can use this tool as a starting point for your own analysis to speed up the placing of counts, or have Motive Wave fill in a pattern for a specific area if you're having trouble determining if there is a valid wave count within that specific area. The Auto Wave tool is available in our two Elliott Wave editions the Elliott Wave Lite Edition, and the Ultimate Edition. To access the Auto Wave tool, go to the Tools drop-down menu on your top toolbar, select Elliott Wave, and then choose Auto Wave, or you can see there's a keyboard shortcut, which is Control-Shift-W. So when I select that, you'll see my cursor turns to a little plus with an EW, and then I will select an area of the chart. When I let go, Motive Wave fills in the top level wave pattern. Motive Wave will look at every possible valid wave pattern that would fit in that specified area based on the rules and guidelines of the Elliott Wave theory. Motive Wave then ranks all of those possible wave patterns and assigns a wave score to each one. The highest ranking wave score on a particular pattern based on our proprietary algorithm is what gets placed on the chart as the best top level wave count. You can move any of the points around if you disagree with the count. You can also decompose the wave count. Motive Wave will again attempt to fit the best wave count at that level, and so on. To decompose one or two levels across the entire wave pattern, simply right click on that top pattern, go to Decompose. If I choose Decompose one level, it will fill in one level down. If I change my mind and want to decompose two levels, I would select that top level wave count again, right click, go back to decompose, choose decompose two levels. And now because I already have a wave pattern filled in, it will ask me or give me a warning message asking me if I want to replace the existing waves. I'll click yes. It will remove the decompose one level counts and replace it with the decompose two level counts. If I only wanted to decompose a specific wave within the overall count, I would right click on the specific wave and do the same thing. So for example, if I wanted to see if this decomposed further, I would right click on that specific pattern, choose decompose and do that. When I use the Decompose 1 or Decompose 2 level options, Motive Wave is again determining the best possible wave pattern to fit in that area based on the highest ranking wave score using its proprietary al algorithm. Please remember that when you are asking Motive Wave to decompose lower levels, there may not be a valid or a good wave count that fits across the entire decomposed level. Motive Wave will still fit the best one it can across the entire decomposed level. If Motive Wave believes there's an issue with the count, it will show an alert or a warning for it. Sometimes in certain scenarios where a wave is supposed to be shortest or longest, for example, it can have an acceptable variance or overlap according to the rules and guidelines of the Elliott Wave theory. If that is the case, Motive Wave will show a yellow warning on the count, but it is still considered a valid wave count. So for example, on this chart here, we've got a warning here saying that wave three is the shortest wave. It's filled it in and just let you know that there is um, a variance on that rule, but because the waves around it were so strong, it's leaving it there. You can move it around to get rid of the warning or leave it as you like. If you're finding that you're seeing a lot of yellow warnings in the counts, it may mean that you are not selecting the optimal area to use on the chart for the auto wave tool. For example, in this one, I've got one yellow warning based on the area I selected, which was this low point to this high point. If I clear all of my wave points and I go back to Elliott Wave, Auto Wave, and I choose that same low point, but I choose this higher high point, and I decompose again. you'll see it was able to fit in an even better pattern using 
that selected area of the chart and there's no longer a warning on any of those decomposed levels. So again, all of the points plotted in the auto wave and our auto analyze tools can be moved if you don't agree with where motive wave places them. You can also delete a specific decomposed portion of a wave, again, if you don't agree with that specific one. So I could delete that out while leaving the rest of the counts in play. One other thing to show you under the decompose menu is that along with decompose one and two, we also have the other specific patterns listed here. And actually one thing before I do that, um, you'll notice on the decompose two levels, there is a control L and we'll get to that in one moment. I'll just cover the specific patterns first. So if I wanted to decompose and I didn't want Motive Wave to look for all of the patterns, um, if I just wanted to look for one specific pattern, I can go to that, I can right click where I want, choose decompose, and then Motive Wave will tell me what the valid patterns are for that specific area. So you can see there's a full list here, but only two of them are shown in white, the rest are grayed out. So my two options here is to decompose as an impulse or a leading diagonal. So I can choose impulse, it's going to tell me that there's already a wave there. I'll say yes, I would like to replace it. And then it's only looking to fill in the impulse. If impulse is grayed out, for example, I'm now on a different wave and the impulse is grayed out. That means um, I can't choose it for that particular wave because it's not possible to break that specific area down into an impulse wave pattern as per the rules and guidelines of the Elliott wave theory. So you can see any of the waves I choose, different patterns will be lit up as to what it believes that you can break it down into. If you want to quickly remove everything on your chart to start over, if I click off of here, you can do a control A on your keyboard, which selects everything. And this is a common um, function that you'll see in a lot of computer programs. It selects everything on the chart, and then you just hit the delete key on your keyboard. If you want Motive Wave to automatically decompose the two levels when you're selecting the area on the chart, just so it's faster, you would use the keyboard shortcut while you're dragging the area of the chart. So as I mentioned, the shortcut for decompose two levels was control L. So if I switch back to the Elliott wave tool and I hold down control and L at the same time as I drag the chart and then let them all go at the same time, Motive wave has decomposed down those two levels. If you want to decompose just one level automatically, you would hold down just the control key while you click and drag. There's one last thing I want to show you. Um, so let me clear the counts again by doing control A and delete. If I go to that Elliott wave menu again, you'll see that in the list, as well as auto wave, we have these other patterns. Um, if you select any of these patterns, if you hold down the control key while you drag, they behave the same as the auto wave tool. Um, when you click and drag the specific area of the chart, it will only attempt to fill in that specific pattern. So if I choose impulse, hold down the control key while dragging, it will only fill in impulse patterns. So let me show you how that works. So now you can see I've got my cursor looks like an impulse. If I hold down control and I drag over the chart, it's only fitting in impulse patterns there. If I don't hold down the control key, if I just select, if I select impulse here, if I don't hold down that control key, it's not an automatic tool. It becomes a semi-automatic tool and we'll cover that in another video but I'll just show you, I'm not holding down control. So now it doesn't do anything, right? 
if I go back, I'll just give you a brief preview. If I'm just using the impulse tool without the control key down, then I'm simply clicking areas on the chart and mode of wave will label it for me. Okay. So that's it for this video. For more information on the semi-automatic tools, look for our semi-automatic video, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.